here's a brief video on the basics of unit conversions. First of all, before we get into specific examples, I want to remind you of a couple of the algebra rules that are coming into play here. Whenever we have two quantities, say A and B, and those two things are equal to each other, we could divide one underneath the other and say that A divided by B is equal to 1. And similarly, we could say B divided by A is equal to 1. Both of those things are true. Now the second rule of algebra that we want to keep in mind is that if I take any quantity C, anything at all, and I multiply it by a factor of 1, I haven't really changed the quantity. I still have the same basic quantity C. Let's start with a pretty well-known conversion factor. 1 foot equals 12 inches. That's one that we're really coming with here in the United States. So let's say we've got a factor, a quantity, we've measured something, and maybe we've got 2.5 feet. And for some reason, we want that not in units of feet, but in units of inches. Well, we've got our factors A and B up here. This is like our factor C. So we want to take our factor C, multiply it by something by 1, so that we get something very similar to it. Now, when we said we could do either A over B equals 1 or B over A equals 1, we have to decide on each problem, how do I take this conversion factor and put it into the form that I need? What you want to keep in mind here is numerators and denominators. So if I've got 2.5 feet, what I really want to do is make sure that my 1 foot is on the bottom, my 12 inches is on the top. What's going to happen then is that my feet in the numerator and the denominator are going to cancel each other out. What I'm left with then is my 2.5 feet times 12 divided by 1 within the units of inches. Now if you multiply this out, 2.5 times 12 divided by 1, that's going to give you an answer of 30 inches. So what we've said here after we've done all the conversions is that the basic distance measurement of 2.5 feet is equal to a measurement of 30 inches. Now we could do this in the reverse. Maybe I've got something like 96.3 inches and I want to find out what that is in feet. So again, I've got to put the part of my conversion factor that matches my known units, that's got to be on the bottom. So in this case, the 12 inches goes on bottom, one foot goes on top. And again, my units in the numerator and denominator cancel each other out, and I'm left with 96.3 times 1 divided by 12, with a unit of feet left over. And if you put this into your calculator, we can do 96.3 times 1 divided by 12, and that's going to give me 8.025, and again, the units that are left over on that is feet. Now most of the time, you don't actually have to do the divide by 1 or the multiply by 1 part. We can just do 96.3 divided by 12. But every so often we've got some conversion factors where one of them isn't 1. In that case, you want to make sure that you take into account both of those numbers. So that's the basic unit conversions. Let's take a look at a little bit more complex ones in the next video.